corner, two doors. <laughs> we should be Zaycha next year to be sitting together in Shalai and Kaidesh, learning Kairat Zazamin, and being Nene, being being Karbanis. And this should be the last fast time we have to go ahead and and the fast on Tishaba. Okay, uh, we had seen that lacha on, it seems like a long time ago, and we've seen that lacha that about Akila. Said that Akila is like some type of small canopy. If it's less than 10, you're in a sukkah, you're good. It's not considered a separate, it's not considered a, a separate area, and you're good. If it's 10, then it's a separate area that you're underneath the oil, you're not, you're not in the sukkah. The Gemara asked then, what about Kinopis? The Mishnah said, we had something called a kinoipis, a four-posted bed. We said that if it has a canopy upon it, and we proved a feel less than 10, that it that it's it's still a problem. So the Gemara answered that the kinopis is kavi, it's more permanent. Thus, less than 10 has a permanence of a different area, and therefore you're not sitting in the sukkah. Masha'en came the temporary area of a of a key of a of a of a keep a, a, a kila, uh yeah, yeah kila is is okay. Okay, we have, now we have a different lashon. We're on Yud Aleph Amid Aleph. We are two lines from the from the top. Lishnach Rina, Amri Le, Om Rav Yehuda Meshmuel, Muto Leyoshein BeKilas Chasanim. You're permitted to sleep in a Kilas Chasanim Basuka, if you shein Lagag, and Afal Pishe Gavoy Asara. Now a Kilas Chasanim, guys, is a it's basically the same as a Mishnah uh, Naklitin. If you want to take a look what a, 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 a Kilis Hassanim is, you take a look on page, page Aleph. We should have one over there. Um, not really. It looks something like this. Okay, it's like a triangle, right? It's like a triangle. Okay, it's a, it's a triangle, okay? And as long as, as long as it doesn't have a gag Right, which is a, a tefach thick, then it's okay, even if it's ten high. So as opposed to the kilo, which was ten high, was no good with four posts. This two posted bed going down on the sides, even if it's ten, would not be a separate jurisdiction, and you'd still be considered sitting in the sukkah. The psul over here is not the height like it is by the kilo. The psul over here is the tefach gag, the roof. As long as that gag is not a tefach, you're good. That's what the Gemara is saying. Mesebe hayoshem bekila besuka lo yotzi dechavasai, and the Chayyim speaking about kilas chasanim that you're not yotza. Hachem ayaskin b'sheish legag, easy terrets. You know why it's not good? It has a gag. It has a roof. Since it has a roof, you're no good. Toshma our Mishnah naklitin is shnayim is two posts. Bekinoipis is arba is four posts. Pires agabe kinoipis psula separate jurisdiction. I'll get you naklitin on a two-posted bed. Shera, it goes down like a triangle. So ostensibly, the kilas chasanim and the naklitin are parallels to each other. They're one, one two posts. Like a, it goes down, a, a sheet draped over it like a triangle. Ubevach le'yeh naklitin gevoyah min amita asar tfachim. Ha gevoyah min amita asar tfachim b'sula af bishen lagag. So again, Shmuel said the height wasn't the problem. It was the gag that was a problem. Here by the Naklitin, it's the height that's a problem, and the gag is not a problem. And that's a Mishnah. It's a Tanoic statement. What's the difference between a Kilos Chasanim and Man and um, Naklitin? And for the Gemara, Naklitin Kavi. Says the Gemara, shiny Naklitin the Kavi. It's more permanent. Therefore, if, it, if, it, if it's more permanent, even though it's 10, as long as it doesn't have a gag, you're good. Ikavi la. If it's kabi, it should be like a kinoipis, and it should be puzzle less than 10. What did we say about a kinoipis? We, we began to share. The difference between the four-posted kilo and the four-posted kinoipis was the size. And we said the kinoipis is a feel less than 10. Why? Because it was kabi, because it's permanent. Fred Gemara, if you're telling me a distinction now between the kilos tasanim and the nakhlitin, that the nakhlitin is permanent, so why, why above 10 is it, is it good? It should be the same din rod as a kila, uh, as a kinoipis, which is below 10 is also possible. And for the Gemara, legabi kinoipis like a V, legabi kila a V. It's kind of in between. It's a hybrid. It's not as permanent as a kinoipis, which is possible less than 10, but it's more permanent than what than a kila, which would go ahead and, 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 uh, 
possible even without a guy. It would be possible with a guy. You can sleep with it. So this one, guys, has no, no problem. It's got a gag, tefach, and it's got it's got ten. You still can sleep underneath it. Like Rabbi Yehuda, the Amr who says, like us, the oil aroy, umavatul oil keva, an oil aroy, a temporary oil can't come along. Umavatul an oil keva. Did not Amr Rabbi Yehuda? No, you may not lose in tachas amitav v'nei asakenim. We would sleep underneath the underneath the bed v'nei asakenim, right? And even though what it was uh, ten high and it was kavi. And what's the answer? The answer and has a gag. The answer is that it's not permanent. It's, you're not going to keep it there. You're going to move it out. She says the more Valema Allah Kreb Yehuda. Why do they say what we just say the Allah Sakri Yehuda? Why do we say the Yashim Bikila Pishesh the Gaga Bishop Gov is a command? Why do they say Quran Kreb Yehuda? Why do you say Allah Kreb Yehuda? She says the Gemara, I am Allah Kreb Yehuda. If you would have said the Allah is like Reb Yehuda, have I mean a honey mealy meter only a bed, the Lagabo Asuya. Because it's made to be on top of. But a kilo which is made for the middle, I'd say not. In other words, why do I, if I sleep underneath the bed? Is it okay? Because it's not made for that purpose. It's not made to be an oil. It's made for you to be on top of it. Therefore, since it's made to be on top of it, if you're under it, it's not an oil. A kilo which is made to be underneath it, right? I would say there that, that, that it, it, according to Yehuda, uh, I would say it's also good. Time of Yehuda, Layasi oil aroy, umvat, the loyal keva, Laishnamit of Laishna Kilas. You teach me a Kiddish that what that Rabbi Yehuda's reasoning is oil aroy, because you else would have made a distinction in Rabbi Yehuda between a kila, between a bed and a kila. Kamash Malon, there's no, there's no difference whatsoever. The only, as long as it's an oil aroy, even if it's a gag, even if it's tent fachim, it's going to be what? Okay. Okay. Um, we had this, this before, this, this Mishnah. Basically, your if your 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 books, guys, page forty one, the last picture on the page. This is page forty one, the last picture on the page. That's hidlo less a If you notice, you have a vine growing, and you are connecting the branch, the 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 foliage that is still connected, and you're putting it on top. Now this this is not good schach, guys. Why? Because it's mechuber. Again, it's mechuber. We said. For us, it has to be what you gather, guys. Guys, this is very important. I've said it a few times that it's important. This is the, the this is the definition of strach. It can't be mechuber because it says when you gather. You can't gather something that's connected. It has to be disconnected. It says me from your granary, and we're going to see the strach has to be made of something similar to what that's geduli similar to what grain and what and and grapes. So now, or or you put on gourds, the same thing. is is uh, kisus is ivy. and you put schach on top of it. Psula, it's not kosher schach. And if there's more kosher schach than the mechuber dika schach, so therefore you mavatel it. Oh, or else shek it sotzon, or you cut it, or you cut it. Then kishera, then it'll be kosher. Now we have to get into the shaila of tasa. You have to make it beloy mina osli, and that it can't be made. In other words, if this schach went on there and it was puzzle at the time it was mechuber, you're cutting it. What does it do? You didn't make the schach, or maybe you did. Maybe the act of cutting does make the schach. We'll have to see in the gemara. That's going to be a mach likus in the gemara. So again, two ways to be machsha schach that's mechuber. Either A, putting kosher schach to me battle, or B, cutting it. Those would seem to work. Zeaklau, this is our rule of thumb. Here's our rule of thumb. Kol dava, kol dava, shehu mekabal tuma. Anything that can be mekabal tuma, ve'en gedulim mina aretz, and does not grow from the ground, ain mesach gembo, you can't use it for schach. And again, as we know by now, the ikka part of the sukkah is the schach. That's where the shot, that's the Lushan sukkah means covering. The chol dava she'ein mekabel tuma, and anything that's not mekabel tuma, anything that's not mekabel tuma, the gidulim in aretz, and it grows from the ground, mesach gimba. So those are two, the two criteria. It has to be not mekabel tuma, and it has to be gidule min aretz. It has to be gidule min aretz. Okay, let's see the gemara. Yosef Rav Yosef kamed Rav Huna. Yosef was sitting in front of Rav Huna. The Yosef v'ka'amar 
and he said the arm oisha cuts it on kshera. He said, or you cut it, it's 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 kosher. Mashma from our Mishnah, the simple act of cutting would make that schach okay. The simple act of cutting would make that schach okay. The Omar Rav and Rav said on that sarich l'naneya, right? That you have to go ahead and move it. In other words, cutting it is not okay. You have to go ahead and take every piece of a, t- a previously attached wood and move it up and down. That's what you have to do. Anything that was previously attached, you have to move up and down because you have a problem, guys, of tasa deloy minha osli. Okay, I like, to, I like to see Rashi over here because this is very important to Kuda. Let's see Rashi. The Yosef Rabbi Yosef Kamar, Hachi, Hadit Nan. That that our Mishnah said, Oishe Katsasun Shera, or you cut it as Kasha, Oma Rav Allah, a Rav said on that din and our Mishnah that you cut it, Nehi de ain't Sarah Lachsa Ulusaisra, good, you don't have to go take it down again and put it up. Avot Sarah Hulan Anea Katsas, you have to go ahead and move that a little bit. Oisam Shahu Sachacha de Machuba, that that we had gone ahead and moved when it was connected, Laacha Katsasun, if it's cut, you have to move it. That that movement should be like asia, like you're doing it. If you don't move it, it'll be a psul of tase. You should go ahead and make a sukkah. Right? Tase. You should make. The hachi mashma, guys. Here's the, I underline this. Sukkos tase kishata oisaisa te royal sukkah. At the time you make it, it can be roy for a sukkah. Mamish, at the time you make it, it should be roy for a sukkah. The loy mina osloy bipsul, and not something that was made bipsul. Shein roy le sukkah. That's not roy le sukkah. Guys, I have it. When you go ahead and cover this sukkah with schach, that is connected. Right now, it's not a good sukkah, correct? If you now, so now what you have to do, you need a tasa. You have to make kind of pasuk of the Torah. You need an asiya, right? You need to do something. If you cut it, you didn't do anything. You didn't do anything intrinsically in the schach. So Rab, when Abishta said, I should cut on, that wasn't enough. Rabbi Yosef said, Rab said on that, you have to do something else. After you cut it and disconnect it, then to make it a sukkah, you have to pick it up and put it down, pick it up and put it down. That's an asiya. Because then it won't be made. Because <laughs> if you have rov, you're making it at that time. If you have rov schach that was kosher and you only had not, a small. We're not speaking about rov. We're not speaking about rov. Again, the rov was a different din. Look at the Mishnah Hashi. There was two different dinim. There was a din of rov and then and katsan. Two different dinim. Okay, this is not, you don't have rov. You don't have rov. If you have roiv, we said lechat chilo, you can be mevatlet. We said we said a chiddush that chavoto, you put it down and cover it lechat chilo, you can be mevatlet. That was a previous gemara. We're not speaking about roiv at all. Is she good? Okay. So now, so according to this, Rav said asi is not good enough. You have to go ahead one and and move it up and down. From Rav Tzorchlan Neya, Amol Rav Huna, Rav Huna says to Rav Yosef, Chashmul Amra. It wasn't Rob that said it. Shmuel said it. Meaning, Rob said the act of cutting is enough. When you cut the, the stuff off the tree, that's enough. Right then and there, that's enough. That's enough. So Ajur Rabbi Yosef Lapei turned away angry. I never said that Shmuel didn't say it. Shmuel said it, and Rob also said it. So they both hold that what? That you need to do something, that the act of cutting is not enough. How are we doing so far? <laughs> Good. Guys, we're now going to bring in a whole sugi of tzitzis with a problem of tasa miloimena asoi. And from that sugi, we're going to ask a question, okay? So um, let's see some pictures. Page 42, top picture. You have a tzitzis, notice, it's not cut. You put it on, 
it's still, you see like a loop, guys, in the bottom? It's, it's a loop. Now, in fact, you also tied it, and you then went ahead and you cut it. You cut it. So this would be comparable, perhaps, to the same din of sukkah. Just like when you put the schach that was connected to the tree. On the schach, it wasn't good at that period of time. So too, when you hung the, the tzitzis from the psil, it's no good. From the kanaf, from the kanaf, it's no good. Psil is the kanaf, no good. But what did you do? After? You cut it. So perhaps the act of cut, if you would hold, fellas, cutting the tzitzis would render the tzitzis kasha, who I did, you would say cutting the schach off the tree, the branch off the tree, also should be kasha. A perfect sushtel, right? At the time you put it on, it's no good. But you see by tzitzis, there's someone who holds that it is good. So if that person holds by tzitzis, it's good. He would hold the act of cutting is also good by the sukkah. Says the Gemara. Oh, this stick is, uh, is it tzitzis puzzle? No, tzitzis is not puzzle. You don't cut. You don't cut it's it. Not it? Possible. Yeah, it, 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 right, let's see the sugya. The says the no. Only Shmuel said it, and not Rav. Rav said you don't have to. You don't have to move it up and down. The Rav Ashuri Machsher. Rav would be Machsher the Sukkah ki Hader of Amram Chasida, like 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 Rav Amram Chasida, that Romi Techilta. He put he put sitzes on every four cornered beggar of every person in his house. It's a long tesis over here. He held that women are mechuyev in sitzes because sit laila is man sitzesu. So therefore, it's not a mitzvah essay shas man grama. We don't pass like that. We pass since laila is lavs man sitzes. It's a mitzvah essay shas man grama. But he held that what that laila is is man sitzes and memela women are mechuyev. So for everyone in the house, he went ahead and he put it on. Talon, he, he hung them, Veloy Pasuk, and he didn't cut him. Rashi Chutin Shalahen. Okay? And that's what he did. So you now, Asul Kameda of Chiyabarashi, Amalei, Hachi Amarav. Here's what I've said. Mavsakon, cut them, the Hank Sherim. Cut them in the Kosher. In other words, the act of cutting those things, just cut them. The way you cut them, that would render it kosher. So if Rav said that there, what must he hold by sukkah? The act of cutting off the branch is enough, and you wouldn't need them in Anaya afterwards. You wouldn't need it. So he says, so, uh, so Alma, what do you see? Pisikason, the disattachment, zuyasiyason, that's considered the act of asiyah. Hachanami by sukkah, katsitsason, the act of cutting it off the tree, zuhiyasiyason. Good. Fed the Gemara. The Sava Shmuel Loy Amina Psikos and Zuasiyasan. Now, saying the following if Shmuel holds by Sukkah that this attachment is not enough and you have to go ahead and move it up and down, it must be, he would say, Tzitzis, it's puzzle. It, but again, it must be he would hold Tzitzis as puzzle, right? Guys, uh, says the Gemara. You put two ends on the same time. Okay, look at this picture. You took two, you have two, two sides, one and two, and you put it through the whole way. Now it's tied over here. So it's tied over there. When you cut it and you separate it, you're going to end up with, you kill two birds with one stone, guys. In other words, you, you hit two together. So the Akach Pasuk Rashi Chutin Shalahen Sherin My Lav Shekoisha the Akach Pasuk that first you tied it and then you cut it says Maloi She Pasuk the Akach Koisha you cut it and then you then you tied it good so so there's no chiddush there guys if I cut it and then I made the tzitz what's the chiddush again Fred the Gemara Kasha you said by Sukkah. Shmuel holds clearly that tzitzah, cutting it is not enough. You have to move it up and down. Yet you see by tzitzah, the act of cutting enough is good. Why? Because the havamina is, you made the tzitz, you made the fringes, and now you're cutting it, and it's good. The Gemara's terrorist says, no, you didn't make it and then cut it. You cut it, and then you made it. Fred the Gemara, if you cut it and then you made it, so what's the chiddush? That's classic tzitzah. 
right? You put strings in, cut him, and then you make the tzitz, whatever it is, says the Gemara. Says the Gemara, Koisha Paisik Vyaka Koisha Paisik Vyaka Koisha Maila Memos. What's the Kiddish? Mal the Tema Amid Beis. I would have thought, be in in Kaf Bishas Psil, that it has to be what? A corner at the time you thread it, Veleka Kamash Malon, right? In other words, you're putting two into one. So I would, over here, it wouldn't be considered you made what? A Psil. Rashi says, Bishasha Poisloy, when you thread it, you need one corner. So that's the Kiddush. The fact that it was, you kill two birds with one stone, that was the Kiddush. That even though you, you put two in, you tie two and then you cut it, right? Then it wouldn't have been good. You put two in, you cut it, you would think it's no good because it's two. Kamash Malan, that no, it's still good. Bottom line is, each we held serve. Right now we have Rabbi Yosef holding both Rav and Shmuel require Minanea to take care of what the problem of Tasev Lemin Asui. And we have Rav Huna saying, no, only Shmuel would hold that, but Rav not. Because we know from Tzitzis, since Rav permitted cutting Tzitzis even before you made it, even after you made it, to Adin, he would permit cutting a sukkah even if you made the sukkah. Okay? Good. Ari, what's, you're good now with the Tzitzis? No, the, the original Tzitzis put in with the double. Is that kosher? What's, what's the minimum share for Tzitzis? What do you, mean? Mean? you have to make eight l'chatchila? No, no, no. We, we, we pass can just want, you tie one thing, you're good. So should that be good even before you cut it? But no, no, he, he didn't. What, with the picture? Before you cut it, is it kosher tzitzis? No, he didn't, he didn't make, he wasn't paisic before he cut it. He didn't do anything before he cut it. He just hung it. No, but the, when the Gemara died, he put he it in double. He didn't, he, didn't, he didn't make the psil yet. He didn't make he didn't make the fringes yet. Bidi lechatchila, you need to make the make make all the the five with the, the things. But I think lechatchila, if you just make one knot, you're good. But he didn't make that. Mesve tolam vle pasuk rashi chut in shalahen, you hung it vle pasuk. You didn't knot it psulin. My lap sulin oilam fit yufta de rav doesn't mean it's possible forever because even if you cut it, no, I'm a lach rav. My psulin psulin not shaviyus siku. No, they're possible until you cut it, and once you cut it, it's good. Ushmulam psulin la oilam. Once you go ahead, you make it, and you didn't cut it yet, then it'll be possible ever be a den of kasim on the yase. Bechem am a levi psulin la oilam. Bechem am a rav masna am a shmul psulin la oilam. Okay. The puzzle forever. So, in other words, if you put it in there, you'd make the make the sharim. If you one kesher and then you cut it, it wouldn't be good. But now we have a rule in thumb, guys. Machlokes Rav and Shmuel in Din. Who's the halacha like? The, the, the rule of thumb is the halacha is like Shmuel by Mamin, and the halacha is like Rav by Isser. So, Pashas, you would think over here the halacha is like Rav. So look at the top tesis. Sulin loylam kula meroi kula shitase kishmuel loyoma ketsisan zuas yasan. We don't say cutting it. What would be its making? We got a sukkah tsarich lananua. By sukkah you need it also. In other words, since all these amaroi are agreeing with Shmuel, we're going to apply the halacha of tzitzis to sukkah, and we're going to say, fellas, if the sukkah you have that thing there and you cut it, it's not enough. You'd have to pick it up, up and down, up and down. Even though Rav holds the other way. No, nope. in this din, we're going to hold that. That will be a problem of Tasev Aleim and Asli. It's an important Tasev. A one liner. Okay, a final upshlag on Rav. Mesebe. Tolon v'achkach pasak. Rashi chut n'chalhen. You tied it, and afterwards you cut it. Okay? You tied it, and afterwards you cut it. Shalhen psulin. Mashma exactly the opposite of Rav. Exactly the opposite of Rav. Rav says it's, it's okay if you cut it. Good. Void Tanya Gabi Sukkah Tase. You should make the sukkah. Your act of Asiya should make the sukkah. Blame in also not from a, a sukkah that's already made. We can amru. From here we learn to the so the first thing, the guys keep in mind. The first thing was tzitzis. The second thing is sukkah. Hidolas a gefen. If you take the gefen and you you take the vines and you put it on the sukkah, there's a delas or gourds. There's a kisos. Or ivy, the psula, it's puzzle. 
Hey, Chidami, what exactly are you speaking about? If you're going to tell me you didn't cut it at all, why do you care from telling me it's a din of Tasev Lemin Asoy? Let's learn that it's what it's mechubar. Fellas, if you took the, the vine, you stuck it on the tree, why isn't it good? Mechubar. right? So what, it, but the Bryce says the problem is a problem of Tasev Lemin Asoy, correct? So what can you ascertain? It must be you cut it. It must be you cut it, right? Because not mechubar anymore. El must be bishik v'tzatzan when you cut the you, you cut the branch, v'katani and nonetheless what what does it say? It says psula, shmamina. What do you hear from here? To leyarmina we don't say kitzitzasan zu asiyasan v'tiyuf to the rav to upslagan rav. Amalach rav hacham ayaskinon. It's speaking this shall pinu shalufe where you pulled it. Le minkara asiyah did who? It's not recognizable the asiyah. Okay, let, let's we have Machlaikas over here, Rashi and Tysus. Let's let's Shtozak on Rashi. It says Rashi, the Shalpinu Shlufe, you pulled it. Pashkan Mina Ilan, you pulled it from the tree, Adsha Nikton until it got disattached. Since the Kitsitsa is not recognizable, Kolkach so much, Shashaikvin Rashe Pishikosan Eitzel Ilan, the head is still lying next to the tree. It's not considered a good asiyah. In other words, guys, it's a chesarin in the cutting. Picture, page 43, first picture. Look very close, guys, at the circle. Very close. So it's speaking where you pulled it, you cut it. But since it's not minkara that it's cut, right, then it's puzzle. So nimsa that this din, Pashtus, is the Rabbanon, because it's disattached now. So look at Taisus. The Shalpinu Shalufei, Ketzas Kosha, the Mefarish time of Ebrisa, Mishim Tasev, Lehmina Asoy. Guys, you tell me now the reason why it's not good is you don't see the cut that much. But it doesn't say that in the Ebrisa. It gives a Pasek. It says Tasev, Lehmina Asoy, which is Mashmitz, Adin, the Raisa. So according to this, Tassel Munyasi is not a Dinda Rice, it's a Dinda Rabbanon. Okay? That's the first, in other words, it's a big lumbus over here. When it says that it's cut, but you can't recognize it, so it's either connected or not connected. If it's connected, it's Mechobar. If it's not connected, it's not Mechobar. And I don't care how it looks. If it's not connected, it's not connected, right? Yes? So when this, it says it's puzzle, it's not kosher, it must be it's the Rabbanon who said it's not kosher, because you don't recognize it's disconnect. So then what is, what said, it says, Tasev Lema Asoy, L'chayr, that's a Dinda Raisa. So Toysus just points out that what? No. Toysus points out that what? That, that's an Asmach, that would be the Rabbanon. Toysus now is going to offer another Peshat. Look at his Peshat. This is this picture. Take a look at that. You see the difference? Steve, this computer drives me nuts. I know I can do it. How do I get rid of this? Get rid of what? Oh, you don't see it. I see something. Spotlight search. What do I, what do I push? Click on the Zoom screen again. My Zoom screen? Yeah. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Okay. So, guys, Tysus is going to learn. It's still connected. Oh, it says Tysus. You pulled it, but it's still connected with its klipa. Its bark is still connected. But it can't live. So now it's very good. It's not considered mechobah because it can't live. But it's, it's still not. It's th- so now the psul, it's still not disconnected. Therefore, the psul is tasev lemin asoy. So regarding the din of mechobah, it's not mechobah. Regarding the din of disconnection with Tasselim and also it's not considered, it's, it's a problem. So the to this, it would be Daraisa. So t- depending whether you learn like Rashi, you learn like Tysus. The bottom line is Rav has escaped the Kasha. There were two, two things in the Braisa. First din, Tzitzis. Second din, Sukkah. You're asking a Rav from a Sukkah. Rav says it's, 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 it's the reason why it's no good is because it's not connected. It doesn't look like it's connected or it is connected, but not, but, but not, not enough to live.
Now, what does Rav do with the tzitzis part, guys? Tzitzis, it said, you got the tzitzis, it's puzzle. What does Rav do with that? Says the Gemara. If you suspend the tzitzis, v'yachach posik kasha, the Rav says, more kasha, you know, it's shver. You want to say that that that, that talk is shver. Let me get Let's say this din is machlokes tanoim. This din, but whether whether of tasim and also let's say it's machlokes tanoim. Over the lichton, okay. There's a lock like this, guys. Um, I wonder if they have a picture here. I'm not sure. No. The halacha is that if you have on your hadasim, there's berries that grow in the hadasim. If there's too many berries, it's called a psul of manumer. It looks like spotted, like a leopard. So what you're supposed to do is take off those, take off those um, berries. You take off the berries, the hadas will be kasha. You can't take them off on yontif itself because that would be making the wat, the dindra banan would be making the wat, the, the hadas. You're creating the das until you take off the berries. It's no good by taking off the berries. It is going yontif. You can't be metakin. You can't go ahead and create like Shabbos, like taking mana. You can't do it. You can't do it. So what happens if a person does do it? What happens if a person does do it? Now, where's the das going to be? The das is going to be attached to the lulav. This is called lulav tsorich egid. Tsorich egid means that you have to attach the two minim, the lulav, the das, and the rubbers all together. Good. So let's view the following. View the sukkah. View the lulav as a sukkah. And view the hadas as, as schach. So if the schach has to be on the sukkah and the hadas has to be on the lulav, I have a very good parallel, correct? So what happens if you would go ahead, attach it, and then take the berries off on yontif? Wouldn't that be the same as tasev lemin asui? You're create, you're making the schach, right? You're 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 making schach when you're you know you cut the schach off. So I'm cutting the berries off. I'm making the hadas. So the Gemara is going to tushtel that. Says the Gemara, of a velikdon. If you go ahead and you take the berries off the hadas, puzzle. Divrei Rabbi Shimon, very tzaddik. These are the words of Shimon, very tzaddik. The chacham machshirim. So you have machloikas between the two. Yes. So pashas machloikas is. Is that Shimi ben Yotzadik holds the Tasev Lim and Asli? And the Chacham say it's, it's kosher because they don't hold the Tasev Lim and Asli. In other words, they would hold that the act of, of, of pulling it out would be considered the same thing as cutting off the what? The branch from the tree. Savu de Kuliyama, Lulav Tzarech Eged. Everyone holds that Lulav needs Eged. So, in other words, you need the, the Dalit Minim, the, two, the, the two minim attached to the, to the, to the Lulav. So now, with that premise, we want to learn the machloike. So, guys, let's let, one more time again. Everyone holds the hadas has to be on it, and everyone holds that we're going to learn out hadas from sukkah, the dalamina from sukkah. So now, the pashas machloike is a din of tasev lemin asoy. Loy rev shemim and yetzadik. That act of pulling it off is synonymous with the act of cutting. That still would be tasev lemin asoy. And it'll be puzzled. Loit Chachamim, who's Machshirin, would say the act of pulling off is the same as the act of cutting, and that would be considered an act of Asiya. And Ram can hold like the Chachamim. My lab, Hokan Ifri, the man, the Machshir, the Chachamim, who say it's kosher, Sava, Aminon Gabi Sukkah, Ketzitzas, and Zuasiyasan. They hold Ketzitzas, and Zuasiyasan. Therefore, if the act of cutting by, by a tree makes the, lula, the, the, the vines into Schach, and it makes the hadas, the, the taking off the berries, makes it into a hadas. And Rabbi Shimon, Rabbi Shimon and Yitzhak, who says that what is puzzle, would say by the sukkah, it's also puzzle. So that would be one way to learn the machlaikis. Now, we now can learn the machlaikis changing the variables. We can say the machlokes is whether it's, whether you need eged or not, or whether they learn out sukkah from lula from sukkah or not. In other words, this machlokes was placed upon the variables that they both agreed that it has to be attached to the lula, and we learn out a, a, a lula from sukkah that you need what tasev lemin asli. If you would change those variables, I can learn pshat and the machlokes differently, as we will do right now. 
Loy. The Kuliyama Loy Amrin and Gabe Sukkah Ketsiyat Sasan Lusiyasan. Everyone says you don't say you don't say that. No, it's not like Rav. The Chacham hold we don't learn that lulav misukah. In other words, there is no problem of tasev loy mina osli by the hadas. So even though right now it's possible, when I take it off, it's okay. I don't care. I I made it right now and it was possible before. I don't care. I, I don't learn out lulav from sukkah. By sukkah, it's a problem. I hear it's not a problem. And Rashim and Yisadik says, no, same problem my sukkah you'd have over here. Isfir said, Viva Yisayma, a third possibility. Isfir learned the lulav tzaruch eged. If you hold lulav needs to be tied on. Kuliyam le pligi the alfina lulav mi sukkah. And what? It will be a problem for Tasa B'lai min asli. If in other words, Hachamai has pligi masav at tzaruch eged. Rashim and Yisadik says, it needs eged. Since it needs eged, and you learn that lula from sukkah. So if I pull it off, it's a problem because it's tasav lemin asli. You don't have to put it on. So if you don't have to put it on, it's like schach that's off the tree. It's nothing to do with the sukkah. Well, look at the honey tonight. The tanya lula bein agud bein sheino agud kasha. A lula when it's attached or not is kasha. If you dama agud kasha, sheino agud pasul. If Yehuda says if it's attached, it's kasha. If it's pasul, it, it's not. My time to Yehuda. What's the reason that it has to be attached? Yolaf lekicha lekicha mi agudas ezay. He learns the kicha kich from Mitzrayim. In Mitzrayim, he took an azai and put it in the blood. They, when he splashed it on the doorpost, it says there, just like over there, it was all good. The azai was all good together. Just like over there, it's, it was attached. So too over here, it's attached. So you learn now. They don't learn how to say they don't have this, they don't have this the Messiah from the Rebbe on this Kzeva Shava. Okay, so that's the difference. Bottom line is, you're not locked into saying ma, 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 uh, Rav is Machloik is Tanoyim. Every Tanah could hold that by Sukkah, you would have to go ahead. Cutting is not enough. Over here by Lulav, I have either, 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 maybe you don't learn out from Sukkah, or maybe what? You, need, you don't need Eget. Lulav mitzvah a lulav, it's a mitzvah to attach it. It's a mitzvah to attach the adasim to it in the rabbis, and you know it's kosher, it's kosher. He said it's it's you need it to be attached. Why is it a mitzvah? Right? What's the mitzvah over here? Rabbanan says it's, 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 you don't have to attach it. In other words, this is. There's a din of hidder mitzvah. That is, actually, there's two types of hidder mitzvah, as we'll see, Bez Hashem. There's a hidder mitzvah that is the raisa, and there's a hidder mitzvah that is machloikas when it's the raisa. This is the one that's machloikas when it's the raisa. In other words, you, um, I don't have to attach it to the mitzvah, but certainly it beautifies the mitzvah to attach it. So over here, when it says mitzvah, it doesn't mean a mitzvah that it has to be attached. You, you would get a mitzvah of beautifying the mitzvah if you would attach it. Thank you all for listening. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Good night, good night, good night.